Pittsburgh. I'm at the Point State Park, right where the Monongahela and the Allegheny Rivers come together. That's where the Ohio River starts, and that's where I'm starting. I still gotta make it home. I left Pittsburgh this morning bright and early, and now I'm on the Montour Trail. The Montour Trail will take me to the Panhandle Trail, which goes to Weirton, West Virginia. Weirton's on the Ohio River, and from there I'm gonna head downstream, south and west, all the way home to southern Illinois. It should take me about two weeks. I love a road that follows a river, but I always feel bad for the river. The Ohio River is a national treasure. It starts in Pittsburgh and ends at the Mississippi River in Carroll, Illinois. I live about 30 miles north of Carroll. So my plan is to follow the Ohio River all the way to southern Illinois. I'm traveling the Ohio River Scenic Byway. So the journey doesn't end here, it just keeps on going. It's like J.R. Tolkien said, roads go ever, ever on. You gotta be careful when stepping off your own front porch. You don't know where that road will take you. And remember this, all that glitters isn't gold, and all who wander are not lost. Like they say, you wanna keep moving, you gotta keep moving, so I gotta keep moving. I'll see you down the road. Well, good morning. It's Thursday, it's July 8th. This is day one on my way home. I stayed in downtown Pittsburgh last night, but today I'm going from Pittsburgh to Wheeling, West Virginia. Gonna be on bike path most of the way today, so that's kind of nice. They're calling for some rain, so that should keep it cool. As long as there's no lightning, I'll be all right. I just crossed into West Virginia. West Virginia is the Mountaineer state, and my mother-in-law taught me that a Mountaineer is always free. Yeah, remember that. All right, this is still day one from Pittsburgh. It was on the Montour Trail. It's a nice trail, but it's crushed stone. And when it started raining, I got grit everywhere. It's all right, because it kept raining. And when I got to the Panhandle Trail, it was all paved. Yeah, what a nice trail. It rained on the paved trail, and I didn't care, because it washed off most of the grit. I like that kind of rain. Anyway, it's been raining all day. Sun just came out, though, which is nice. I got lunch at Walden's Restaurant in Burgettstown. Yeah, what a great place. You gotta stop there. Right off the Panhandle Trail. Anyway, Vicki gave me my lunch for free, and she said that all long distance bikers eat for free. The only condition is I gotta tell everybody. It's a good deal. Thank you, Vicki. <laughs> but here I am at the Pennsylvania West Virginia State Line. It is Friday, July 9th, and this is day two on the Ohio River. The Ohio River is right behind me. I stayed in Wheeling, West Virginia last night. The National Road goes through Wheeling, and there's a really cool suspension bridge in Wheeling that predates the Civil War. Built in 1839, and it's still standing there. But there's only two things standing between me and home. That's Ohio and Indiana. I thought of several ways of getting home. One way was take the Lincoln Highway, Route 30. It's a really cool road, but it goes too far north. It goes to Chicago. I've heard rumors of an unofficial Eastern Express route. It goes through Central Ohio, Central Indiana, and Central Illinois, just north of St. Louis, and it hooks up with the Katy Trail. And I heard a lot of its rail trail, which is nice. But I've decided to follow the Ohio River, It'll take me closer to home. Plus, I love following rivers, and the Ohio River is a classic river. Coming through Wheeling was a little rough, pretty congested and busy. I crossed the Ohio River, and now I'm in the Buckeye State. But I'm on my way to Marietta, Ohio. It's gonna be about an 80 mile day, so I can't be goofing off too much. I gotta keep on going down the road. There's a lot of power plants along the river. They use water from the river to generate steam, and they use the river to cool their boilers. But if you can ignore the industrial mess, it's still a nice river. Yeah, I got a little bit spoiled the last week or so riding on rail trails, but now I'm back in real world bike touring conditions on paved roads with cars and trucks. 
but I'm following the Ohio River Scenic Byway. It's a nice road that follows the river. Well, you know, I gotta fly. Good morning. It is Saturday, July 10th, and this is day three on the Ohio River Ride. Last night I stayed in Marietta, Ohio, and today I'm headed for Gallipolis. I think that's how you say it. It's gonna be about a 75, 80 mile day. Some of the bends in this river are crazy, so I'm thinking about cutting them short. Of course, as soon as you get away from the river, you got hills to climb. But I'm just inching my way toward home, following the Ohio River downstream. Little by little, we'll get there. It is Sunday, July 11th. This is day four. I'm still heading west down the Ohio River. Last night I stayed in Gallipolis. Today I'm headed for Portsmouth. It'll be about 65 miles or so. But I'm just sitting here in a little park in a town called Oak Hill. Gonna stay dry under a shelter. So far, the Ohio River Scenic Byway has been a pretty good bike touring road. There's a bit of traffic, but it's got a big beefy shoulder to ride on. And as long as I got a big fat shoulder, I don't care how much traffic there is. There are some stretches though where it's a four lane divided highway and it feels a lot like riding on an interstate. And in most places, traffic's pretty constant. So make sure you don't bypass Pomeroy or Middleport. That is if you like really cool old river towns. The route makers at Adventure Cycling would be proud of me. For once, I took a more scenic alternate route. It was longer and it had more hills, but it avoided a lot of traffic and a boring modern highway. So when I left Gallipolis this morning, the sign said that the road was closed nine miles down. It's always a gamble going down a road that's closed. Sometimes bicycles can get through and cars can't, but you never know. So I took a gamble and I tried the road anyway. Since today's Sunday, fortunately I was able to get across. But the added benefit is all the other traffic took the detour. So here I am down on the scenic byway with almost no traffic. Pretty sweet. From Gallipolis to Portsmouth, I'm cutting straight across, rather than going south along the river. The main reason is to avoid the Huntington area. It's a heavily industrial area on both sides of the river. Plus, it gives me a chance to see the Ohio countryside. It's Monday, it's July 11th, and this is day five. I'm in Southern Ohio. I'm traveling the Ohio River Scenic Byway. Yesterday I made it to Portsmouth, and today I'm headed toward Maysville. Gonna stay mostly along the river all day. I'm headed west, I'm headed downstream. Welcome to the Ohio Valley. But it's beautiful down here in the Ohio Valley. It's gonna be another cool, cloudy day. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it could. As long as it's not lightning, the rain just keeps it cool. All right, this is Wednesday, July 14th, and this is day six from Pittsburgh. I'm still headed west. Last night I made it to Ripley, Ohio. It's a pretty little river town just west of Maysville. But I'm gonna cut across a bend to avoid Cincinnati. I crossed the Ohio River at Augusta on the ferry, and now I'm in northern Kentucky, and I'm headed over land. So I'm up away from the river in the uplands. I should be in Indiana tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty little river towns along the way. Took a rest day in Ripley yesterday. It's kind of nice to get some fresh legs. Had a chance to clean the chain on my bike and tighten up some of the bolts that have been rattling loose for the last four or five weeks. Just kind of give my bike a once over, get ready for the last stages of this trip. Thursday, July 15th. This is day seven from Pittsburgh. I'm still heading west. Last night I stayed in Richwood at the Motel 6. Just a little town south of Cincinnati in northern Kentucky. But I crossed back over the Ohio River and now I'm in Indiana. Welcome to the Hoosier State. 
but I'm back on the Ohio River Scenic Byway. Tonight I hope to make it to Louisville, but I'm not going through Louisville. I'm gonna skirt just a little to the north. I've been going through a lot of neat old river towns in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. The Ohio River is a world-class river. It's not the longest river. It's not the deepest river. It's got a lot of character. There's a lot of settlements along the river. Some old-time farmsteads dating back to the early 1800s. And when the pioneers first came here, they settled along the river. The river was their main means of transportation. They also used it to move goods, help develop the area economically. Before there were interstate highways, the Ohio River was an interstate highway. But today's gonna be a hot one. It's supposed to get in the upper 80s with high humidity. Whew. Welcome to Indiana. I kinda hope it rains today. Sure would cool things off. All right, this is Friday, it's July 16th, and this is day eight on the Ohio River. I stayed in Madison, Indiana last night. I stopped early yesterday because of the heat, but I'm glad I did. Madison is a pretty little river town, a lot of history. Today it's gonna be another hot one, so one thing I need to do is manage my heat. I'm gonna try to get as much riding done early as I can before it gets too hot. I'll take lots of breaks, always looking for shade. Gotta give my body a chance to cool off. And I'm gonna drink lots and lots of water so I don't get dehydrated. And when it gets really hot, I'm gonna pour some water over my head. Instant cool down, keep my brain cool. I'm gonna try not to overexert myself in the heat of the day. And if it gets too hot, I'm just gonna stop early and look for a nice air-conditioned hotel room. We'll see how far I get. But heat can be dangerous, so it's real important to manage your heat. But I'm still on the Ohio River Scenic Byway. See you down the road. Anyway, it is Saturday, July 17th, and this is day nine from Pittsburgh. I'm on the Ohio River. I'm in southern Indiana, and I'm headed west, downstream, towards southern Illinois. I should be home in about three or four days. Last night I stayed at a motel in Sellersburg, just north of Louisville, on the Indiana side of the river. Today I'm gonna make it to Tell City. Yesterday I cut the day kind of short because it was hot. It's either way too hot or it's too stormy. So I decided to take two long days and turn them into three short days. But I'm about three or four days from home. Should be in Evansville tomorrow. And then it's just right across the river and I'm in Illinois. Good morning. It is Sunday. It's July 18th and this is day 10. Spent last night in Tell City. It was a long day, 85 miles. Today I'm headed for Evansville. But the road along the Ohio River has been fairly level. There have been a few hills, but not too many. But that all changed. Between New Albany and Tell City, there were lots of hills, one after another. It seemed like one minute you were in the valley bottom, and then a few minutes later you were up on top. But it was just up and down all day. Makes for a tough day when you gotta repeat the same vertical distance time after time. But there was a nice bluff top view in a little town called Leavenworth. Probably one of the most spectacular views of the Ohio River that I've seen. All right, it's Monday, it's July 19th, and this is day 11. I'm almost home, I got one more day. But I stayed in Evansville last night, and I'm on my way to Harrisburg, Illinois. I'm back in the land of Lincoln. Seems like the closer I get to home, the more in a hurry I get. My wife calls it going back to the barn syndrome. Kind of like when a horse has been out on a trail ride. They know when they're headed back to the barn. And then they start to hurry it up a little bit. For the last couple of days in Indiana and Illinois, I've seen mostly corn and bean fields. So I crossed over the Wabash River, and then the Wabash's little brother, the Little Wabash River. At Harrisburg, I'll pick up the Tunnel Hill Trail. It's like my home away from home. I do most of my weekend riding on the Tunnel Hill Trail. It's a great trail. Hey, this is Tuesday, it's July 20th, and this is day 12 on the Ohio River, and this is my last day of riding. I stayed in Harrisburg, Illinois last night, and tonight I'm gonna be at home sleeping in my own bed. It's gonna feel good. 
but it should be about a 60 mile day today and the weather's not too hot it's just typical July weather Anyway, I picked up the Tunnel Hill Trail early this morning out of Harrisburg. I ride this trail almost every weekend, except when I'm out touring. But it's a real nice rail trail. It cuts right through the heart of the Shawnee Forest. So it's mostly tree-lined with lots of shade and the trees block the wind. So I'm really in no hurry. I'm just kind of poking along, taking my time. This is like my home away from home. But when I get to Vienna, I'm gonna hang a right and follow the Trail of Tears all the way home. I live just a mile or two off the Trail of Tears. This is the end of day 12 on the Ohio River, and I made it home. I love a ride that ends on your own doorstep. But I'm just sitting out here on my back porch right now, just chilling out. But the Ohio River Scenic Byway is a great bike tour. I highly recommend it. But the Ohio River slices right through the heart of America, and the development of the Ohio River is the story of the development of America. It starts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ends in Cairo, Illinois. I'd say it's not for beginners, though. It's the real deal. The scenic byway is mostly scenic, but not all scenic. Lots of people make their living along the river, and it's highly industrialized. But in between all the industry, there's lots of stretches of scenic road. There's all kinds of cool little river towns all up and down the Ohio that are worth checking out. So anyway, it's been a great summer of bike touring. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Now go ride your bike. You know, as I was riding this summer, I met a lot of people and it kind of tickled me that some of the people that I met saw my bike touring videos. And I just want to say thanks for, uh, for stopping and saying something. It's just kind of cool. And if you've left a comment or you liked it, uh, I really appreciate that. And I guess all the people that don't like it, they just don't bother to leave a comment. And I appreciate that too. Thanks a lot.